All right, welcome to episode 8 of Sonic Heroes. We're on stage 11 of this, I think, 14 stage game. You know, Shadow is having a little bit of trouble um, putting together some things. He seems to know who Sonic is. He's not sure why he seems to know who Sonic is. Um, of course, the Metal Sonic version of Dr. Eggman told him he had no memory. So, you know, he, Shadow's in kind of a weird place. And to compound that fact, we go into a spooky castle, where everybody could be in sort of a weird place. Um, you've already seen one of the gimmicks of this castle, uh, besides constantly flipping the floor and the ceiling. Uh, the little pumpkin ghosts that show up. Yeah, they, they get pretty annoying because they can block your path, and they can actually hurt you uh, if they make contact. And for Team Dark, uh, they seem to be placed more inconveniently than uh, for other teams. The other thing is we're going to see a lot of these transportation balls where you got to jump on the ball and it's going to send you somewhere else. And sometimes that's going to result in the uh, there's one of those troublemaking pumpkin ghosts. And sometimes that's going to result in the area around you being flipped over and sometimes it won't. Right, so we hit the uh, first checkpoint here, get a level up for Rouge, because again, normally you want to level up your flying character first. Um, and then we have to go down here because our way is blocked up there. And so now we are doing another thing that this game likes to do. It's very possible that we ran on these loop-to-loops that we are now grinding on the bottom of uh, right at the moment. And another thing about this level, we now have a lot of these armored ships. Now, ordinarily Rouge in her second level, Thundershoot should be able to knock down and out uh, most flying obstacles, uh, but not these guys, uh, which is kind of annoying that they show up here. But they give us a, a level up for Omega, so we can find our way over, and we can meet another new enemy. Now, you've already seen this enemy a couple times, and you only saw it for a second there because we killed it pretty fast. Uh, these little egg robots are healers. At least that's one of their possible, uh, one of the possible things they can do. They are also potentially uh, vampires, but these egg wizards, as I think they're officially de designated, they can uh, heal the robots around you. They can, in some cases, summon more robots, and um, some of them have the ability to suck you dry of rings. Uh, by using their magic. So you, you're pretty. Whenever you see a group of enemies show up with one of those egg wizards, destroying the egg wizard first is always a, a good idea. Enemies with shields are going to be very common in the in this level and the one that follows. Um, and ideally. Uh, you would use Shadow to disarm the shields, but they come in such groups that you might as well just use Omega and just swing a lot in order to get rid of the uh, the shields. So you can see Omega's flamethrower was able to get rid of the shields, but we still got shot, so we lost our rings. Um, and now we are back at the door we tried to unlock a long time ago after being flipped around a little bit. And so here's a bar that Shadow would use, and since a bunch of enemies just showed up and I have a uh, 
Chaos Inferno available. I'm just going to go ahead and blast him. And I'm going to kill this golden shielded uh, character while time is still stopped. This button will cause the pole that was stuck in the earth behind us to raise so that we can then use shadow to go and access the next area. So here's some more of those uh, armored uh, flying vehicles that, again, Rouge can't defeat in one hit at level two. So I'm going to try to collect some of the rings that I dropped on the ground. Um, and then we can head down this grind rail all the way down to uh, the next checkpoint. And now Rouge is at level three. So we might be able to, and we have to be careful here making this jump. Obviously the ax could come and whack you. And depending on where it hits you, it could really uh, knock you off the stage. It's not that it, it would hit you because you would lose your rings, but it's how it would hit you. And that's also true with the ghosts. It's not really that the ghosts can damage you. That's not such a big deal. The problem is the uh, the ghosts will also knock you in directions that you did not intend to go. So here we are on another... Uh, we flipped the board again, and now we're grinding on the bottom of an, probably the same so slide we saw the first time. Here's, And they're showing you the ghosts popping in to kind of mess with you. Um, in fact, here's one who's right on top of the grind bar. So just trying to be very careful here before landing, and unfortunately landing in a mess of folks. Fortunately we did not die there, we had just enough rings to survive. And so now we can bounce over here and third level Rouge can take on uh, these airplane thingies and third level Rouge can fail to kill them. Now, one thing about these airplane thingies, they also serve as an alarm system. They can bring in other enemies to the fight, so you really do want to get rid of them when you run, run across them. So here we're going to use the homing attack to cross this bridge. Uh, fortunately, we're able to avoid that ghost. At, at the end, we'll switch over to Omega to get, pick up these rings, and then we're going to use Omega's fully leveled up power to wipe out everything on the board, including that Egg Wizard. And now we're going to head up. This is the second time this game mechanic has shown itself. This is the, um, there you can see that the ghosts do knock you back. But as long as you stay within the lanterns, you're on a floor of some sort. But if you go outside of it, it's a uh, bottomless pit. So you need to be careful with that. Um, you know, I, I tried to keep on the path to show you. But you could, in theory, uh, try to jump, make a leap of faith, uh, and land safely. And cut some time off your run. But if I was trying to cut time off of these runs, I would have done that by now. All right, so we wipe out the gold uh, guys with their guns using a uh, Chaos Inferno Team Blast. There was actually a secret down there that I could have used Omega to smash into, and I didn't do it. Fortunately, it's not going to stop us from completing the level. All right, so we're just going to let Omega power through. It's If you can get Omega to use his third-level ability without having to worry about him sliding around like crazy, like on a very big open platform area, 
uh, there really isn't anything to beat it in this game. Okay, so we defeat another couple of shield guys, and now we're falling down again at the bottom of the level. More ghosts just to show up and cause problems. And then we're going to go in this hole and work our way back up uh, to the top of the level. And since enemies are spawning in, we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. So, okay, at this point, time has been restored. I'm going to blow up that guy. That speed monitor is there to show you that you can use Shadow's homing attack to kill that enemy and advance over that space. But, you know, I just prefer to use the flying character. Then we need to make this jump here and into the transportation bowl here. Got more enemies to deal with. Again, fully leveled up Omega, not a big deal. And another opportunity for Shadow to use his light speed dash, which seems to be all we use Shadow for, is his light speed dash and his ability to ride the poles, and then defeating other teams in the uh, boss battles by using his uh, tornado attack. So now we're headed uh, up. Here's another metal character that we cannot kill with our... Uh, despite having fully leveled up our flying character. And to open up this transportation ball, we have to hit uh, that target, which you think would be relatively easy, but you have to um, you have to be pointing in the right direction and you've got to, it's got to reach. So, you know, I spend about a minute aiming here and Omega is a bigger projectile than Shadow is so if the problem is that you think Shadow is just missing and he would have otherwise grazed the area then you can go and, and uh, if you can fire Omega instead then you can get that uh, accomplished and then you have to do it again over here um, and you'll notice that the castle statue on this side is a picture, is a statue of Metal Sonic. If you flip it over to the other side, it's a picture of Dr. Eggman. So that's sort of a neat little thing. Um, but also suggests that Metal Sonic's been in charge long enough to at least make some additions to the castle. So now we're going to ride the poles into the crevice here we need Omega to break this wall and then we have to watch out for more ghosts we gotta kill more armored dudes grind on this rail until you know, the ghost hits us and they just drop our rings, which is unfortunate because we had 100 plus rings at that point and we were, uh, we were probably looking at a pretty good score um, if we'd been able to hold on to all those. And now we're into the last phase of this level. Uh, this is where you go down or up depending on your viewpoint. And you have to avoid uh, the obstacles that are on the ground like these spike balls. Um, try to get the good stuff in the middle, like those rings. You could use the rainbow rings to sort of uh, help you out there. And then we get to the bottom and we're slung across to one more transportation ball and then we have to avoid the pumpkins as we go down.
once we do that, there's a uh, three-way switch waiting for us. And fortunately, I was able to do that without needing to right. freeze things with chaos control. And so there we go. We made to get a hang castle. Uh, we got back on our feet with a with no deaths. Again, it's another time record. Uh, only a C rank. Yeah, like I said, we miss those rings. Join me next time when we go through Mystic Mansion. I'll see you then.